this week's rule is all about rail and rail guideways. So if I want to make a rail line, a light rail line through my town, the first thing I need is some geometry. So I'm going to lock down these layers, grab the graph polyline tool. And what I'm going to do is create a new graph on top of my existing street graph. I'm going to put points at both sides of the intersections uh, because I'm going to use a rule that creates posts later, and I want those posts if you're on opposite sides of the intersection. Where I've got a turn, I'm actually going to go out to the center of the intersection so I can use the minimum arc radius to create curved turns for my rail line, and I'll finish it up here. Now, by default, all the nodes right are set to smart. I'm going to make them junctions so that they're flat. Uh, this uh, also was created on the ground. I want to raise it up above my existing street graph, so I'm going to raise it to 0 0.6, and it's a little wide. So I'll cut off the sidewalks and uh, drop the total width from 7 meters down to 4 meters to create this base graph down the center of my street that I can apply a rule tool. Now, the Redlands example comes with a rail rule uh, out of the box. It's called Rail Guideway. I can apply that uh, to create a uh, a feature. You may notice uh, at some parts of your graph you still have some conflicts with either the ground or your other, other parts of your street graph. So you can go in and edit those. So here I'm just going to grab this vertex, right, and move it up so it doesn't conflict with the median there. Um, where you have turns, you can select a node, adjust the minimum arc radius and to create smoother turns so it's not quite so abrupt as you, as you go around a corner. I'm going to set this to 8 and smooth it out a little. So there's my rail guideway going down my, my center median of, of a road, and I could cut across parcels and other places with this. So this Reels Rule of the Week is a modification of this rule. It's the elevated guideway. So we select it, we apply it, and then we can grab this graph and change its height, move it up off the ground. And what it does is at various intervals along the the rail it determines the height to ground and puts in pillars and posts. So I'm going to select this node and increase the minimum arc radius so that the supports kind of slide back a little bit. And, and there we go. We've got an elevated guideway going through our town. And there's other modifications you can make. You can change the, the rate of spacing for the pillars or the size of the pillars. I'm going to make them a little smaller so they fit inside the median here. So take a look at the rule. Give it a try. I hope you like it and look out for the next ruler week. It'll be a mod of this one.